Hi everybody, this is Donna Lay, and I would like to share with you a modification I made on my Lenormand deck. This is the Low Scarbale Lenormand. And uh, what I ended up doing was taking the borders off, and um, since the number went with the border, I ended up drawing the numbers on them so I would still have the numbers. It's in gold pen, and the pen that I used is called a Zig Painty Pen. And it worked great. It, it's a paint pen, so it takes time to dry. And then what I did is I glittered the deck. It's hard to see in a picture, so that's why I'm doing a video, so you can kind of see what the glitter looks like. Now, in some of the cards, I like it better than others. For example, on the fish card, it looked fabulous because it looks like the scales of the fish. And um, I liked the mouse card because I could kind of accentuate the mice in the card and I used two different kinds of glitter so for where there was light areas I used this it's called spoiled it's just a really inexpensive nail polish and this particular color is uh, shaken snow shaken snow globe and then the other one I use for dark is just a Sally Hansen one and it is called glitz gal number eight and the two together made a really nice complimentary uh, light and dark glitter. And they also had other colors in red, so if you really want to go crazy, the red will look great on something like the heart. So, for example, it might be a little hard to tell here, but in the flowers, I used the light colored glitter on the roses and the daisies, and then I used the darker glitter down here for the vase. For the fox card, I used the darker glitter down here, and I used some of the lighter glitter. I actually kind of painted where all the dark places were on the tree to kind of highlight those. The sun card, I was really concerned about how that would come out. You can see there's a little glistening here from the, the, the gloss of the polish, but it's not too bad. Um, but I used the light colored one for this one and it gives it just a nice little sizzle. For the ring, I only did the ring. For the garden, I painted the water at first and then I wanted more, so I ended up putting some of the dark glitter over there. One thing I did want to mention is the only card where the number really didn't show up well is the bird's card. And you can see it here if you kind of tilt it, but it's, from some angles it's hard. And for the bird card, I used the dark glitter in the dark spots. The star card was one of the hardest. I'm not sure I'm entirely happy with it. I put glitter down here when I was done, but I tried to get some of the more prominent stars, but I almost wonder if I want to paint the whole thing and let it uh, choose its own place to sparkle. Even the coffin looks pretty good, glitzed. The clouds, same thing. I went for uh, mostly light with this. I didn't want too much of a darkness to it or to show up too much. And for the woman, I used the lighter color on her light outfit, nothing else. I didn't do anything but her and her hat. And for the gentleman card, I did just his suit. And I did a little bit of what he was holding here in his hat. For the path, I first did just the trees, then it dawned on me I have to do the path because that's what the card is all about. And it looks like kind of granite glistening. The moon. of my favorites. The water really shows here. This is kind of like a card I don't really ever notice, but I like it a lot now. For the scythe, I just did the scythe. You could do more over here if you wanted to. Actually, I think I did. Yes, I did. I added a little bit of the light colored. And then the snake, because the snake has scales and it really brings it to life. I also did some of the bushes. So you can have a little fun with it and see um, with the glitter goes in your cards. Well, it takes a little nail polish. I previously used this in the past. It's called Extreme Glitter. And I bought it for the Deviant Moon deck. And this is a, something I put on with a Q-tip. But it's just more like glue. Okay, so it looks white until you put it on and it dries clear. But that had a lot of gloss to it. So I could actually see the gloss a little bit more. To show you the difference, here's a stork see if it really shows. Can you see how much more shiny it is? Some of the other cards. The fish, you can really see around where the fish is. Whereas if I take my other fish. 
fish card and compare. I like the glitter of the nail polish a lot better. You don't see so much the, the boundaries of it. See the difference? So uh, I did put some pink on my cross and that was nail polish, but um, see how you can see the little outline there? So that's the difference and I thought that the nail polish worked really great. And I want to thank Corinna George for that tip of using the nail polish. So have fun, try it out.